Hello everyone and welcome to Delaware Auto Sales today. It's a little bit chilly here and we got some snowflakes tapering around coming down but I am excited to show and present and uh, walk all the way around inside outside every which way under the engine on this beautiful 1997 Lincoln Town Car Cartier. Some people may say Cartier or Cartier depending on where you're from but Trust me, the correct French pronunciation is Cartier. So this is a absolutely gorgeous survivor car. There are not many of these left around as these cars get older. This is the last year of this full frame, full body Panther platform car before they changed it to uh, a real rounded ugly body style in my opinion starting in 1998 but this 1997 is the coup de gras and this is being a cartier edition is the top 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 of the line and better than all of that is that this car lived in arizona this car has no rust this car has zero rust i'm going to show you i'm going to tell you if you're familiar with these cars, you'll know that they usually develop rust down there at the bottoms of the fenders, back here on the dog legs, inside the door jams, inside the trunk jam. This car doesn't have any of that. This car has spent 19 years, the last 19 years from uh, 2004 until current in Arizona. And prior to that, the first seven years of its life from 1997 to 2004, it was in South Dakota. So it's been in far better climates than where it lives right now, which probably makes you say, well, my name's Nathan, by the way. Well, Nathan, why is this car here then in Ohio in the cold? And trust me, she's not super happy to be here in the cold. Look right there, Cartier. Uh, the top is absolutely remarkable. There is no issues with this top. I'm going to show you as I tell you why it's here. Uh, I found this and sourced and bought it from Arizona and I knew what a gorgeous car it was um, when I saw it and I loved the color combination. Uh, speaking of, this factory color is called Ivory Pearl Metallic. There are some other pearl whites like the last real nice signature series town car that I had that I almost sold to Germany. Um, was just standard pearl white, you know, just like a normal white with some pearl in it, kind of like uh, Toyota Solera over there in the distance. But this is a creamy pearl white. Um, my coworkers here uh, and I have affectionately given this a little pet name, and we're calling her Cookies and Cream uh, because between the color of the top and the color of the car, it kind of reminds you of uh, maybe an Oreo or some Cookies and Cream ice cream. So that's what we call her is Cookies and Cream, and we like the name of this car but the top is wonderful all of the bindings all of the edges are in great shape nothing is loose nothing is torn nothing is worn check out the door here you'll see when door pins get worn where the top will rub the piece in the back not the case here look how nice it opens and closes okay all the all the doors do that um so i found the car in arizona um look how nice the seal is on the back window and I bought it because I knew what a special gem it was and we transported it here and that's why it's here so um, it is just as clean underneath as you see it to be here up top um, I'm going to post photos these white specks are snowflakes in case you're unaware um, I'm going to post uh, photos in the still photography and the ad from when it was on our lift and our service shop underneath the car. So you can take a look at our website right there, autosalesohio.com, that's our website and phone number. Uh, you can read my uh, written description about it. You can take a look at the car facts and then you can look at all of the still photography, including uh, a handful of photos from underneath. It is absolutely just as clean underneath as it is up top. Here's the car facts. Two owners, no accidents or damage. 1997 Lincoln Town Car Cartier 4.6 liter last owned in Arizona so I, you know I love these cars I 
personally own one that's very much like this, but mine, as much as I love it, I hate to say it, it's it's not even quite as clean as this car. Uh, mine is a 1997, the same year, signature series, so also a top end trim. Um, mine's black on black, I like black cars, so mine's black on black uh, with the same wheels as this car. The eight, These are called the eight window wheels in chrome. Um, I love my car. My car has a lot more mileage than this car. This car is sitting at 119,000 miles, almost 120. Uh, my car, as I make this video right here, right now, I just visited my car the other day. I've got it stored for the winter, but my car has 234, almost 235,000 miles. You probably know that if you're looking at this, but these have a superb reputation. They are known for durability and longevity, and they can go. They can go and go and go and take the miles and just keep on going. They're just, just a wonderfully built car. Check out the painted pinstripe uh, that's like a dark burgundy color that matches the color of the top closely anyway, all the way down the car. Really cool. Um, I've driven this plenty. Uh, it runs and drives just as nice as mine. And uh, you, you might say, well, geez, this should ride better because this has less mileage. Well, my car has a lot of new parts, so it rides and drives beautifully, but literally this car drives no differently than my car. Everything works on this car. Um, this car has factory heated seats, which is really nice. That's something I don't have on mine. Uh, lightly tinted windows, you may have already noticed all the way around gives it even more of that just opulent look oh so beautiful uh michelin white wall tires hard to find anymore but it still has them um also has a hitch i'm not sure why uh there's a hitch plate cover on here with a supposed to be a lincoln emblem <laughs> you can see right there uh looks like part of it broke off but I don't know what the hitch was used for, so I'm not going to tell you that it was only used to carry a wheelchair. I don't know. Uh, it might have been for a wheelchair or one of those jazzy chairs. Might have been for a bike rack. Might have been for an extension of the trunk. I, I don't know, but uh, it, it, it's a nice hitch. You can see it in the photos underneath the car on the website. So mechanically, we inspected it and went over it just like we do everything before we sell it. And quite frankly, this car has been so well taken care of um, it didn't need much of anything. Uh, we put new wiper blades on the car. Uh, we changed the oil and uh, there was a uh, uh, pinched uh, wire somehow inside this driver's side door that was causing the keypad not to work. Uh, we repaired that and replaced the uh, module. So the keyless entry number for this car is different than the factory code, but I have the code. I have it written down several places and on the key tag for the car. So this all works now like it should. Um, the wheels are in real nice shape. There's the Michelin uh, tires, 225, 60, 16. Um, tires measure six thirty seconds on the front tread on these front tires and seven thirty seconds on the rear. Uh, brake wise, the front brakes have eight millimeters remaining in the front and the rear brakes have 10 millimeters remaining in the rear. So it won't need brakes for a long time. Uh, these being Michelin tires, they ride so nice. They're so quiet. Uh, I, these tires should last, you know, if you really want to run them down, these tires should last another 20,000 miles probably, 20, 25,000 miles if you really want to run them all the way down. Look how clean the bottom of the fender is here. And let me just point out the obvious, but I still want to say it. It's not like this car is this clean because it's had body work or paint work. It hasn't. This car is this clean because it's all original. <laughs> um, just wonderful. Look at the... Oh, Look at the um, jam here, and the, the, this is called the dog leg here in the rear. It's absolutely spotless. I mean, my car has a little bit of rust bubble down here. You know, it doesn't usually spread too far. There's that wheel. Um, but, yeah, and tire back here. Uh, but, you know, it, it happens. Um, okay, also, before we look over the interior, uh, I also want to point out the um, 
suspension. The air suspension has been removed from this car. It's very common. If you're looking at this, you probably are aware, uh, but it is very common uh, to remove the air suspension when the air struts go bad. So this has been converted to a traditional uh, coil and shock spring assembly. So honestly, my car still has the air suspension and I've replaced my air struts and my compressor. I gotta say that this car rides absolutely no differently than my car. So I, I, will, I didn't know that I would be a fan to do that, but now that I've had the opportunity to drive this car with the conversion done and compare it to my car, there's very basically no difference. So uh, the only thing it does is it does have a light on the dash, which I will show you that says check air suspension. Uh, look at the Lincoln mud flap on the rear. <laughs> um, it does have a light on the dash that says check air suspension. Um, the wheels have just a little bit of corrosion inside the holes. Not too bad. Um, uh, it says check, check air suspension on the dashboard because it, it recognizes that it doesn't have the air shocks. So it's just a green message, a word on the uh, dashboard. I will show you when we go inside here in a moment because my hands are freezing. Look how clean. Uh, these are gold, by the way. The town car there, the uh, Lincoln emblem on the hood. And uh, the fasteners here on the top, the little rivets, more snaps. So yeah, so the message comes up on the dash, but you know what? Big deal, who cares? Not a big deal. It comes standard with a six body trunk. Oh, did I say that? I meant six sets of golf clubs. <laughs> Look at the Cartier emblem there. It still has some gold, a little bit of wear on it. Um, these are gold. Again, they're starting to lighten up a little bit, but everything's gold. Um, I watched a commercial for these cars when they were new uh, on YouTube, and I, it's probably one of many commercials, but um, it said that uh, they were touting that the trunk was big enough for six sets of golf clubs. <laughs> Yeah. Um, there's the paint code uh, HA, which is that ivory pearl metallic that you can see. Take a look at this door jam. Look at how clean. Mm -mm -mm. Look at the bottom of the door. You don't find that hardly at all. Look at that. I don't know if these door pins have been replaced. I don't think they have because they look original. Um, I have replaced mine, but of course my car has more mileage. But you know, it is kind of a weak point on these cars. Um, like I said earlier, um, where the door will sag, but this door is doing great. You can see how nice the screws from the uh, piece of the top here are at the top of the door. Great shape. Um, just so clean, so clean. And check this out. It has the original Cartier uh, mats. So original mats with the double C emblem on them. Uh, all four pieces are here. Um, has the original owner's manuals over in the glove box I'll show you. Um, driver's side seat, a little bit of color wear right here, right there. You know, some normal checking and lines. Really hard to find this real light colored interior. Much nicer than this, you guys, but I mean, I think this is exceptionally nice for what it is and its age. The headliner is wonderful. It's clean, it's tight. There's no issues there. Has the vanity mirrors in the back because of the Cartier series. My signature does not have that. I do have a factory sunroof in mine, which is quite nice. Um, so, let's hop in here. Um, there's the seat belt for your uh, middle passenger if you have someone in the front this is you know it's one of the interesting things about these cars it's truly a six person car and a six adult at that mat at that rate because these flip up and you can have another seat here and you could have three adults across the front a traditional bench seat and three in the back a um, little bit of wear on this armrest and you know a little bit of color wear right here on the edge but it's still really nice overall um, opens just fine it's not broken same thing here uh, these open nicely uh, when these cars had a um, 
factory cellular telephone, they mounted it in here, which mine has. So mine has this old phone in here that you could darn near beat somebody with um, in this one. And it still works, it still powers on. Coin tray. Um, so there is those. Uh, carpets are super clean. Car definitely wasn't smoked in. Uh, I like to try to say that on my videos because obviously you can't smell on a video. Definitely don't believe it was ever smoked in. Look how clean that lighter is. I mean, plus I don't smell anything. Cup holder's nice, the ashtray is nice. Um, simple digital climate control, um, outside temperature display, um, original JBL sound system radio, very nice, uh, cassette player. Uh, digital clock right there um, simple 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 the owner's manuals are over here in the glove box in the leather case uh, right there um, the um, the key I want to show this real quick um, I had this this is a if you're watching this video you may know what this is this is a jewel key these are very hard to come by nowadays and I happen to have a great locksmith who has some of these still remaining. So I had this cut for this car. It is brand new. It's barely been used five times. Um, that's a brand new jewel key cut for this car. Wonderful. So awesome. Um, it also has a second key, but it's just a plain steel key that I also had him cut. So, and then it has a few spare keys that are kind of old and worn, including the original valet key though. So it does have two complete sets of keys plus some extra spare keys. This remote also had made uh, at the Lincoln dealership. This is a kind of standard issue four button Ford Motor Company remote, but this is a genuine Ford remote. And this does everything as you see here. Um, panic. Lock, unlock, lock, and the trunk. So it works uh, perfect. This isn't the original remote that these cars came with, but it actually works better. I have these also on my car. Um, I, they're a smaller remote, easier to use, available. Uh, the remote that came with these cars originally was kind of oblong in shape, like almost, almost like the key here. It was uh, like a long teardrop shape remote, but I don't, I don't even know if you can get them anymore. But anyway, I had them make the, these. So there are two of these, brand new. Two of these four genuine remotes, only one jewel key, but then multiple other spare keys. This is the current code number for the car. So uh, I will show you this working here after we go back outside. Let me try to memorize that. <laughs> Um, so that's the spiel about the key. Uh, here's a start and what happens. So the car starts and it will beep right there. And it'll say check air suspension and it'll flash like five or six times and then it'll just stay on solid just like that. So that's all that you ever see. It's not like a check engine light or anything like that down here. It's just the words up there that says check air suspension. So. That's all you see, and it doesn't beep anymore when you drive it. It only does it in the beginning. Um, for whatever reason, uh, not to get too far into it, but for whatever reason, Cadillacs that also there's conversion kits made, they offer a relay that tricks the computer into thinking that it still has the air suspension and then the message doesn't come on, but the Lincoln ones, for whatever reason, don't do that or I've never seen one that's done it. So anyway, it is what it is. 119, 748 on the miles. The digital information center over here on the right, you control with these buttons here. Uh, uh, just fuel remaining is how many gallons are in the tank. Uh, I think it's 25 gallon tank, I believe. No, must not be. When you, when you fill it, it just says F. It just says full, and then it starts counting down. It might be a 20-gallon tank. I don't know. You can look it up. Uh, distance to empty. I like to drive mine on either that setting or this setting. Uh, average fuel economy. That's not very accurate because this car hasn't been driven routinely to make that an accurate number. Instant fuel economy. Average speed. Trip, trip odometers. Trip or main is like if you set your distance before you travel, which nobody would do now, let alone then. Uh, so there's that. It beeps every time you toggle. 
This car being a Cartier, uh, just like my signature, you get the digital compass, which is kind of nice up here. You also get steering wheel controls for the audio and the climate. This is your cruise control information. The only thing I don't like about this car that I changed on my car is I put a bad ASS, a badass, I guess I can say that, badass horn on it. Um, this is kind of weak. This this needs an improved horn, but that is the factory horn. Um, this here, uh, volume, you can control right there. Uh, so audio stuff, you can go through the AM, FM, CD, all that. Uh, temperature and fan, I use this like crazy on my car. Even though the buttons are right there, it's so nice when you're just relaxing and comfortable in the car to change the temperature just like that. And then the fan speed. If you want it to go back to auto, you do have to reach over and push automatic, but you know, there's bigger problems in life. Um, this car's steering wheel leather is really nice. Um, I had my car's steering wheel leather completely replaced um, because mine wasn't as nice as this, but this is extremely nice and smooth. Um, very, very great condition. A little bit of color wear right there, probably where the person liked to hold on. A little bit of color wear right there. A uh, little stitching tail right here, no big deal. This truly is one of the nicer leather wrapped wheels I've seen on these cars in quite some time. Um, if you own one of these and you uh, would like a recommendation and you're anywhere near Columbus, Ohio, I can certainly refer you to who uh, did my steering wheel leather uh, recovering, which was Tritex Auto Upholstery here in Columbus. Uh, it wasn't cheap, it was pretty expensive, uh, but they did a great job and it looks just as nice as this. Um, let's see, let's continue. Uh, steering adjustment. Uh, I honestly can never feel the difference when I change this, but whatever, that's a factory lever. Um, headlights, auto, of course, I'm gonna turn those on so you can see the lights on on the outside now. Panel dimmer, I uh, love that you can just push this at night to turn on all the interior lights. Really helpful and handy. Um, uh, let's see, five, nine, five, three, nine. Um, I'm gonna pop the trunk now that I'm getting out. Trunk popper works great, trunk closer works great. Uh, memory seat on the driver's side, all the seat controls, forward, back, up, down, tilt, front and back. Uh, here's the heated seat control. Yes, that is like a screw in there. I'm not sure that that's factory, but this panel is nice and tight, so whoever did that uh, obviously did a pretty decent job fixing it. Cartier on the grab handle. Uh, you can change to back or both, and then you can dial in how much heat you want. This definitely, these definitely work. I had this on when I've driven it. I had it on just now while I was sitting there speaking to you. Uh, storage compartment right here. These are nice, handy for stuff. This wood on this car is beautiful, in great shape. I mean, it is plastic wood, but this still is very nice. Only the Cartier had this dark cherry colored wood. Uh, the regular Signature Series cars just had like the normal brown burl wood, but this is more of a cherry color. Um, these controls are for the lumbar and for uh, the actual back of the seat to go forward and you can see it moving forward and back. So that's what those are. Um, all right. Ah, lock the doors again. Oh, let me show you the key pin. So seven and nine will lock all of your doors. Five, nine, five, three, nine. Oh, <laughs> did I forget the code? Five, nine, five, three, nine. There we go. Opens the driver door. If you hit three or one, it will open the rest of the doors. And I shouldn't have popped the trunk so soon. Pardon me. I don't rehearse my videos. I just kind of do them as I think about it. So let me start over. Seven and nine locks the car. This is actually a wonderful feature. If you pull into a carry out or a gas station or a McDonald's and you want to run in, you can leave the car running, get out and lock it. And as long as you don't forget your code, you can walk up five, nine, five, three, nine, unlock driver door, three, unlocks the rest of doors. And if you hit five, you can pop your trunk. So there's your demonstration on how that works. Um, I love the keypad. I think just as a sidebar moment, I think that every car manufacturer should have <laughs> the keypad on the door. I don't understand why they don't. I mean, it's, it's sensible. You could never lock the keys in the car again. The back seat is beautiful it definitely doesn't look like it was sat in or used very much it is absolutely beautiful there's the double c logo on the back seats as well it's on the front seat of course too um this back really is 
exceptional. The floor mats are back here. Um, everything is nice. There's the back deck. That's a speaker. That's why it's darker. Um, the uh, center armrest here with a couple cup holders. Uh, these back back seats just super pillowy. You know that this Cartier Cartier uh, edition. The leather does have a little more cush to it than the signature. It's it's a little bit more. It's not a huge difference, but it is a little more. There's the uh, vanity mirrors so that your ladies or your gentlemen or whatever your flavor might be can do their makeup and make their hair look pretty in the back. Um, so that's kind of cool. Mercedes did that in this time period. Oh, I forgot to mention up here, home link garage door opener. My car has that in the same place. Um, also the double sun visor. Well, it's, I, you know, I love old cars, so I always have a lot more to say. Uh, look at that. So you can pop this one over here to the side to block the sun when it's in your face here, but you can still, you can still do that. It's like, like a whole blind setup, like a hunting blind or something. He's still gonna drive though. He can't fall asleep. You might fall asleep driving this. Um, but anyway, I think that's cool. Not all the cars do that. I think that's definitely very cool. Um, rear door, super clean. Ashtray, if you don't know, now you know. These little ashtray doors were absolutely garbage on these cars. Every single one of these you find, they will be open like that. They're trash. I literally glued mine shut. So I, <laughs> on my car, not this car, but I glued mine shut so that they stay shut like that and they can't be used because, you know, that's about all you can do. Uh, here's the door panel back here, or door jam. Look how clean. Oh. So clean. Um, yeah, door shuts perfect. Here's your uh, six body, six golf club trunk. Uh, beautiful, clean, carpet's clean in here. Trunk seal looks good. Um, very, very nice. Um, the spare tire, for whatever reason, in this car is um, a small one. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know what the deal was, if you had to pay extra for a full-size spare or what. Uh, I don't know, but it's there, but it's, it's a small one. Uh, this is the air suspension turn-off switch, but of course it doesn't have it anymore. Um, very, very nice. This trunk is really clean. Hard to find sometimes when people have put all kinds of garbage in the trunk. So there's the mat, the carpet on the bottom of the trunk that's nice. Now, look at the trunk jam. I'm trying to get you a good view. Look how clean. Original VIN label right there. Some kind of factory stamping, temp 32, whatever that means. But there's no rust. Like, my car has a little bit of rust inside here that I've, I've treated and and uh, you know, covered, uh, coated it so that it, it doesn't get any worse. Uh, but this is truly rust-free, remarkable. Look at the look at the bolts that hold this trim, this chrome garnish piece. They're absolutely perfect. Sorry, I'm trying to show that and walk at the same time. But it's absolutely perfect. There's nothing negative. Uh, back here, um, CD changer was part of the jbl sound system that's right so if you still have some uh cds that's what this is this big old uh oh look that guy i hadn't even opened this until now uh look it's already preloaded with all kinds of stuff yeah look at that let's see what oh rca oh top 16 country hits volume one Maybe that's your you know, billboard charts of 1962. Do you think the person who owns this car was old? I think so. Yep. So there's uh, there's that. <laughs> so um, trunk pull down works perfect. I usually try to grab right here instead of on my paints on mine. And then once it latches, perfect. 1997 when the headlights are on you've got your tail lights here in 1996 and 1995 these center light bars actually lit up and they quit doing that in 1997 right before the model year change but little secret if you want to know more i'd be happy to elaborate on the telephone sometime 
you can if you own a 1997 and you want that to light up you can uh, you can do it it just requires a few parts it's actually not that difficult <coughs> I did it to mine <laughs> that's how I know uh, back seat again perfect on this side just as nice as the other all those floor mats the backs of the seats are nice Same thing here with the ashtray door. Look how nice the top where it attaches here. You know this is a painted on pinstripe because if you look like really closely right here, you can see right where the brush stroke ended at the end of the line, you can see the heavy dot of paint right there. That's how you know that's paint and not vinyl. Even this passenger seat, I don't know if this was a, I, I really don't know if this was a single man or woman or whatever, um, but it certainly doesn't look like this seat has seen as much action as the driver's side seat. So beautiful, beautiful. Just the checking lines, but not even as much of the color wear as the driver. But even this driver's side seat is, I challenge you to find one much nicer because I know that they don't get too much nicer than this. There's the final floor mat with the double C logo, great shape. Uh, this trim piece, this tread plate is missing a chunk right there. I don't know why, I don't know what happened to it. It's not loose, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. I mean, as long as nobody kicks it, anything, I think it'll be fine. Um, Seat controls there, passenger side, door panel, great shape. Same thing with the heated seat controls here, minus the screw on the other side. Um, same seat controls, very, very nice. Oh, it's cold. All right, no rust, no rust. Uh, let's take a look under the hood, finally. Um, look how nice this is. That door, you know, that door opens and closes just, just as nice as the driver's side. Um, let's take a look under the hood and I think that'll, uh, I think that'll be just about all. I'm sorry I'm talking for so long and so much. There's the headlights have come on now. The headlights are pretty clear on this car. Uh, I think they're probably original. Uh, yeah, there's the Ford logo right there. Uh, there are replacements available on eBay aftermarket that I put on my car, um, brand new, they're cheap. <clears throat> so when these get a little more wear on them, if it's something you desire to change to freshen up the front of the car, uh, they are very inexpensive, very inexpensive, very cheap. Um, beautiful under here. Now, you may say, oh, it looks a little dirty under there. Yeah, it does. Uh, guess what? Uh, did this on purpose. Wanted you to see this car in its true way, the true form of exactly how we got it. Um, we didn't clean under here. We didn't wash it or degrease it or shine it or any of that stuff. Um, so I would be um, happy to um, clean it for whoever uh, you know wants to buy the car. Uh, I'd be happy to do that. Um, I just didn't want to do it initially because I wanted you to be able to see it for all that it is because it's super clean. It's just a little dusty, you know. Um, so, here we are. this is look at the bottom of the hood no rust anywhere <clears throat> the AC 
compressor looks relatively new to me also if you look down in there it's very shiny more shiny more new looking than the rest so that may have been replaced more recently also the alternator looks newer to me but i'm not a mechanic just telling you what i think should more than adequately prove to you that it does not have any weird engine noise. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful motor. You kind of have to slam those hoods. I don't know what it is. Mine's the same way. They're all the same way. Um, kind of have to slam them. The original front license plate bracket is very cool too with the uh, Lincoln emblem on it there. My original fascination with these cars stems from my childhood because my dad always drove them. Uh, he doesn't anymore, he's graduated to SUVs, but he had many, many town cars and I've owned several myself. And uh, my dad actually never had one this generation. Uh, the last ones he owned were the real square body ones, the late 80s models, like the 1989, uh, which I've also owned in 1989 in my past, uh, twice. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, my dad always had them, and a lot of people have been handed down these cars that their parents had. So, they've come back around. Everybody recognizes now what a great value they are, what a great road car they are how comfortable they are and and you know you drive this car out on the road and on the highway <clears throat> it gets fantastic fuel mileage for such a large car um, it's about 18 I think it's eight just over 18 feet long should fit in any standard size garage no problem it's a big car but it's well worth it I appreciate you uh, watching and listening to me here for what looks to be 37 minutes. Sorry if I talk too much or too long, but I definitely have been uh, anxiously awaiting to bring this car to market because I think it'll definitely be one of the nicer ones out there by a mile from what I've seen as of late. Um, thanks for watching. If there's anything that I didn't cover uh, that you'd like to know about, feel free to uh, send an email from our website, give, give us a call. Happy to uh, provide you with anything that I didn't, uh, didn't show that you'd like to see. Uh, thanks again, and make it a great day, and beautiful, beautiful town car. In short, in abbreviation for town car, just use the letters LTC, Lincoln Town Car, LTC. Yep, beautiful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.